Hey guys, what is up? It's me. I uh, just want to give out my uh, little quick Raw review slash thoughts. Uh, Raw kicked off, Nexus came out, Wade Barrett said, yeah, I pretty much, you know, won the match last night, but I wasn't the Dota B champion. Uh, he actually single-handedly introduced it, every single one of the Nexus members. He's like, oh, this is Gabriel, Slater, Atanga, oh, and here's John Cena. And of course the crowd cheered for Cena, of course. Um, and then, you know, because Otanga and Cena were ta became tag team champions the night before, Ot uh, Otanga complained and said, oh, well, John Cena, you know, him and I, we don't get along very well. So, we had Barrett had this bright idea that right then and there, John Cena and David Otanga were going to defend their new WWE Tag Team Championship t titles. Against Heat Slater and Justin Gabriel, that's right, their own members of Nexus. So the match happens. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. Barrett tells uh, Otanga to basically lie down in the middle of the mat and uh, let Gabriel and uh, Slater to become new tag team champions. Tongue was pretty upset. However, he did lie down. Uh, Slater picked up the victory. Uh, the count one, two, three. So your winner and new. WWE Tag Team Champions, Justin Gabriel and Heat Slater, which to me made a lot more sense because we all know it doesn't take a rocket science to know that Heat Slater and Justin Gabriel are actually a better tag team than uh, David Otunga and John Cena. So yeah, that was that. Um, then we had, uh, what else did we get? Yeah, that was good. Oh, sorry, just spacing up. Uh, then we had uh, Daniel Bryan. That's right, guys, Daniel Bryan. Versus Dolph Ziggler rematch of last night. Uh, the match was good. It was good. Uh, I don't think it was as good as it was last night. But then again, you know, it was such a good match. How could you repeat it? Um, especially in consecutive nights. Uh, but yeah, it was a good match. Uh, nonetheless, uh, Daniel Bryan did pick up the victory after hitting the LaBelle lock on uh, Dolph Ziggler. Tapped out. Uh, to the match, Vicky Guerrero complained, saying, oh, his foot was on the ropes. Of course, Vicky put his foot under the ropes already. So, yeah, you know, that was that was basically it. Uh, oh, yeah, CM Punk came out at the end of this match, so... Sorry, beginning of the match, so maybe CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan for the U.S. title? I don't know, it's a possibility later in the future. Uh, then we had a backstage segment. Uh, Toby Keith was the guest star of the night, uh, hanging out with the Bella Twins. Santino came out. Uh, start talking to him then Seamus came out basically uh, gave a challenge to Santino Morella later on the night one-on-one -on -one. Santino accepted it so later on the night we'd have Seamus versus Santino Morella uh, then we had uh, John Cena was arguing with Wade Barrett about the whole tag team champion titles and he said that if John Cena beats Randy or yeah, that's another thing uh, there's a match announced that t tonight was going to be Randy Orton versus John Cena. And if John Cena won, di uh, Wade Barrett would announce the special guest referee for his match against Randy Orton at Survivor Series for the WWE Championship. Uh, so yeah. And he supposedly was going to give Cena an offer that he couldn't refuse. Uh, then it was Layla... Michelle McCool, Lay Cool versus Gail Kim and Molina. One minute match. We expect uh, Lay Cool did pick up the victory. Uh, McCool came in there with a kick. Whatever. One, two, three. Yeah. Then we had, uh, yeah. Then we had The Miz and Alex Riley come out. They cut a promo. Uh, the Miz saying that, oh, if there was a bunch of Miz on this team, that he his team would have won. Raw would have won. And that, you know, he showed the poster, the cover of uh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, which some people on the East Coast and, you know, some other places I've gotten by now. Uh, that, you know, it should have been, he's on the cover, but it should have been two other Mizzes, thus it being three Mizzes on the cover. And, you know, he was just he was just going off like that. Then the Eve comes out. And when Eve comes out, she calls the Miz, like, frog, ugly frog face or something. It was... She's pretty stupid. She got like the stupidest comebacks in the world. Uh, and people wonder why I hate Eve. She, 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 she's so she can't wrestle. She has stupid mic skills and oh, so. But anyway, and the people say, "Oh, she's improved." Kelly Kelly has improved. Give me a break. Uh, next, then our uh, truth came out. 
And then the uh, anonymous general manager received an e got an email, sent an email to Michael Cole. Michael Cole says it's going to be The Miz versus our truth right then and there. The match happens. Pretty good match. It's all right. Uh, the Miz wins by a uh, skull crushing finale. Uh, and yeah, that was it. Then uh, Toby Keith comes out, announces both Sheamus and uh, Santino come out for their match. They do. Uh, this was a pretty stupid match, to be honest with you. Uh, Sheamus uh, was about to hit the kick, the, I don't know what he calls it, the big kick that he does. And then uh, John Morrison comes out to kind of distract him. He misses it, hits the freaking turnbuckle. Santino rolls him up with a schoolboy. One, two, three, you win off Santino Morella. Santino Morella has pinned and beaten a two time WWE champion. Oh! I'm not going to complain because it's raw. And I'm used to it by now. I'm not happy with it. Oh, by the way, no Maris. Freaking A! Anyway, uh, we had Heat Slater and Justin Gabriel. Uh, they were backstage and uh, celebrating their, you know, big win being tag team champions. Dave O'Tong wanted to talk to Barrett alone. Barrett said, all right, Gabriel Slater, let me talk to him alone. Then Otonga was getting pissed off at Barrett. And then Barrett introduced uh, both Michael McGillicuddy and Husky Harris into Nexus. Uh, and then Barrett reminded Otonga either with your Nexus or against us. Otonga said, I'm with you. Hell yeah. And next week's uh, guest star, Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, that's not going to be too PG. Uh, then we had a main event, John Cena with Wade Barrett. Versus Randy Orton. Uh, this is okay match, I guess. Uh, the match did end in a disqualification with John Cena winning. It was kind of like last night with the whole Wade Barrett versus Randy Orton. Except for John Cena was outside, Wade Barrett was outside. Wade Barrett basically clotheslined uh, John Cena. And that's making John Cena win. Then Randy Orton got pissed, attacked uh, Barrett. And then Nexus came out, attacked Randy Orton. Uh, then John Cena started attacking Nexus, and then Barrett told Cena to stop. Cena stopped, and then said that at Survivor Series, it's going to be him, Wade Barrett, versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship, and John Cena is going to be special guest referee. And if John Cena does not uh, you know, let Wade Barrett be WWE Champion, uh, he's going to be fired on the spot. However, if Wade Barrett becomes WWE Champion, John Cena... Now, I, I, don't, I wasn't too clear of how Wade Barrett translated this. It was either he was done with Nexus, I mean, John Cena done with Nexus, but he doesn't have to listen to Nexus anymore. Either way, to me, it's the same thing. So, you know, which to me is he's out of Nexus. So it's either you're out of, you let Wade Barrett become WWE Champion and you're out of Nexus, or you let Randy Orton be WWE Champion and you get fired. What is John Cena to do? We'll find out next week on Monday Night Raw. Wow, I sound a lot better than Michael Cole doing that. So anyway, and I quote, this video is over. All my Phoenix miners love that. I'm really coming out with cheesy lines here. But anyway, that, that's my uh, Raw review. Hope you guys liked it and uh, check you guys later.